Former First Lady Laura Bush visits the Sun Coast as SNN local news reporter Amber Stidham shows us she was here for the dedication of a new Moat Marine facility in Boca Grande. It's been a project over six months in the works and finally today Moat Marine opened their brand new satellite campus in Boca Grande. Today is a historical day for us. Starting 55 years ago with a $2 million budget, now Moat Marine Laboratory has expanded, opening up another location in Boca Grande. Marine conservationist and former First Lady Laura Bush joined in on the ribbon cutting ceremony. Hey. Hey, all right. Applauding the research the Boca Grande resident is so passionate about. Moat's current and proposed research initiatives will help Charlotte Harbor remain one of Florida's and even one of the nation's healthiest estuaries. When we do more to preserve our marine resources and our wildlife habitats, we have a firm foundation to provide better access for all people to be able to enjoy the Gulf. Sitting yards away from the Gulf of Mexico, the new Boca Grande location will concentrate their research on Gulf conservation, including tarpon and shark population and red tide. Snook, tarpon, uh, pompano, and some of the other fish here, we're trying to understand their populations here and how we can maintain those populations so the fisheries are protected and conserved. Over 1,600 volunteers currently spend their time with Moat Marine, many of those in Sarasota. Scientists in Boca Grande are hopeful to get the same community support down south. In Sarasota we have, uh, there will be a good volunteer base because we do things with volunteers. We don't hire staff to do everything, so, so it's important to have a strong community support. Like the Sarasota location, the Boca Grande office will also concentrate on research for area fisheries and habitats. In addition to former First Lady Laura Bush, other big names in attendance, former U.S. Senator Connie Mack Sr. and current state Senator Bill Galvano. Reporting in Boca Grande, I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News. Moat Marine scientists say they will be closely following the red tide as one of the first projects at the new location.